All right, let's dive right in. Today, we're talking about something that's, frankly, a huge deal in AI right now, agent orchestration. Think of it as the secret ingredient that's finally taking AI from cool experiments to incredibly powerful collaborative teams that can actually run a business. So let's kick things off with a question that I bet sounds familiar to a lot of you. We've all seen these amazing AI demos, maybe even built some pilot projects, but why do so many of them, and the numbers are pretty wild, something like 60%, just get stuck? Why do they never actually make it out into the real world? Well, the reason is actually pretty simple, but it's a big one. We've got a stage full of these brilliant individual AI virtuosos, but they're all playing their own song. And when you have all these specialized AIs working in their own little silos, you don't get a symphony, you just get a whole lot of noise. It's a problem folks are calling AI sprawl, and it's basically a chaotic, inefficient mess. Right, so how do you fix that? How do you turn all that racket into an actual symphony? Well, you bring in a conductor, and that's exactly where AI agent orchestration comes into play. It's the critical piece that gets all your different AI agents to finally play together in perfect harmony. So what is it really? Simply put, AI agent orchestration is the process of getting all these different specialized AI agents to work together smoothly towards one single goal. It's the system that manages the workflow, the data, who talks to whom and when, just like a conductor guiding the violins and the percussion in an orchestra. And look, this is not just some nerdy niche idea. The market for this stuff is set to absolutely explode. We're talking going from around $5.8 billion in 2024 to a jaw-dropping $48.7 billion by 2034. I mean, when you see a number like that, you know something massive is going on. And that huge number? It's not just hype. It's being driven by a real, fundamental need in business. Because getting your AI agents to collaborate is quickly becoming the ultimate competitive advantage. It's what lets companies automate really complex stuff and innovate at a pace we've just never seen before. And here's what that looks like in the real world. The data is pretty clear. Companies that actually invest in people who specialize in orchestration are seeing their AI agents get up to full speed 65% faster. That's a straight line from getting your AI act together to actually getting things done and fast. It just works. Okay, so we get the why. It's important, it's valuable. Now let's get into the how. How does this actually work under the hood? Let's open up the playbook and look at the different methods, the different musical arrangements, if you will, for getting these agents to cooperate. So, there are a few common ways to set this up. You've got sequential, which is basically an AI assembly line. One agent writes a draft, the next one edits it, and so on. Then there's parallel, where a bunch of agents attack different parts of a big problem all at once. You've also got group chat, which is pretty much what it sounds like, agents brainstorming together. And finally, handoff, where a general AI might pass a really tricky problem to a specialist agent or even a human. Now, zooming out a bit, there are really two big picture ways to think about this. On one side, you have centralized orchestration. This is your classic single conductor model. It gives you tight control, which is awesome for things like compliance, but yeah, it can also slow things down. On the other side, you have decentralized orchestration. This is more like a jazz band where the musicians coordinate with each other. It's way more flexible and resilient, but it can definitely be trickier to manage. And of course, you need the right tools to build all this. There's a whole ecosystem popping up. You've got frameworks like Langchain and LangGraph, which are amazing for building those complex step-by-step -step workflows. Microsoft's Autogen is a rock star at creating agents that can chat with each other to solve problems. Crew AI is your go-to for setting up teams of agents with specific roles. And BAI is working on a kind of universal phone book, so agents built on different systems can find and work with one another. Okay, enough with the theory. Let's talk about where this is already getting a standing ovation out in the real world. Where are these AI symphonies actually delivering some serious value today? Okay, get ready for this number. It's kind of mind-blowing. One single company managed to save 27,000 work hours. How? By using a team of orchestrated AI agents to bring complex jobs back in-house that they used to outsource. That's not a small improvement. That's a massive win for the company's bottom line. And hey, it's not just about saving money. It's about making people almost superhuman at their jobs. Take finance. Traders who started using these orchestrated AI systems saw an 86% drop in the manual effort it took to do their work. I mean, think about that. You're going from doing maybe a handful of trades a day to suddenly handling 40, 50, even 60. That is a total game changer. And you might be thinking, 
Okay, this is for some fancy tech startup. Nope, the absolute biggest players out there are all over this. We're talking JP Morgan, using it for super accurate fraud detection. Unilever, optimizing its entire supply chain. Tesla, Walmart, Capital One, they're all using orchestration to get a major leg up on the competition. But you know, the impact here goes way beyond just dollars and cents. In healthcare, there's a system from SuperAGI that uses orchestrated agents to monitor patients remotely. And the results are just incredible. A 30% cut in hospital readmissions and a 40% faster emergency response time. I mean, we're talking about technology that is literally saving lives. It doesn't get more real than that. So where do we go from here? What's the encore? Well, the future isn't just about having an AI. It's about having teams of AIs, what we call agentic AI, and making them the core operational engine of how businesses get things done. And things are moving fast. By 2025, we're expecting to see a universal standard, the Model Context Protocol, or MCP. Just think of it like a universal translator that lets all these different agents talk to each other. By 2026, don't be surprised to see Agent Orchestrator as a hot new job title. And by 2030, predictions say that almost half of all companies will be using these orchestrated agent teams at a massive scale. And if you listen to the experts, they're all singing the same tune. The whole conversation is shifting away from single AI models and towards these multi-agent systems. The big idea for the next decade isn't going to be if you have AI, but how well you conduct it. And that really brings us to the final big question for you. As this technology completely changes the game, the people who know how to design, manage, and conduct these AI symphonies are going to be unbelievably valuable. So the question isn't just about what your company's doing, it's what you're doing. Could your next big career move be learning how to become that conductor?